for three. Three minute rounds and an instant crown and interim MFC 135 pound champion. Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner. Representing Port St. Lucie, Florida. He weighed in at 135 pounds. Elijah Moore. Hits apart part across the cage, fighting out of the right corner. Coming to us from North Fort Myers, Florida. Also weighing in at 135 pounds. Here is Joey Rutherford. Rutherford making his eighth walk as a mixed martial artist. Morales in the blue corner, his fifth. This for the interim bantamweights MFC title. I'm Mark Charles, alongside with me, Brandon Muddy Rivers. And we are here for this action, man. Co-main event, and they get right to it. The, I love watching the little guys, man. They never get tired. That was my issue when I fought. I always got tired, man. <laughs> that, I'm telling you, these guys can go for days, man. Same pace for rounds on end. And, with, and that's also a very good point right now because this is a championship fight. It's five. We'll have to confirm. In, in Florida, uh, amateur MMA, typically there's still three rounds, but we can confirm here in just a few moments. It's okay. But when you are at the level that you're trying to get to a championship fight, your next step uh, pretty soon after you start winning championships is the next level is pro. So you will need to have a strong gas tank, especially if you're gonna be fighting for a championship. And and finally, he almost completes that takedown he's been looking for. Head stuck in the guillotine position. Yeah, and returns to the cradle, there it is. cradle suit. Wow, amazing. Shades of Kurt Hedding. We've seen some nice takedowns today. That was a perfect flex. <laughs> nice call. All right, so we have Joey Rutherford in top position here. Uh, once again, young guys, you really want to deliver damage because you never know how long you're gonna be in that top position, uh, especially at the at lower levels, you wanna let the judges see domination. So you wanna rain down as much damage from the top position as possible. Looks like Rutherford may be looking to go for an arm triangle, but now he can't. He was trying to get to the other side, but now he'll have to abandon as he's stuck in the guard yeah. of Elijah Morales. Both men trying to make something happen here. Mm. We've seen <laughs> Elijah's trying to put his head through the mat on that one. So I would like to see <clears throat> Elijah uh, open his guard a little bit and try to set, and try to escape. Like I said, when you have someone that's trying to deliver damage in this position, he's not really trying to move forward out of this position. He just wants the top control, it appears. He's not moving in the side control, he's just delivering damage. So there you go, use your legs and get up. You gotta get up. It looks like he... Yeah, he's going for a leg lock. Oh, uh, Morales was trying to set something up, but now he's popped oh. back up, and he's trying to stay up. Oh, Rutherford with the drag down. Some good textbooks wrestling by Rutherford. He'll pop his head out here and get the two points for the takedown. <laughs> and, oh, oh, whoa, oh, with the banana split. Splatle! splatle. <laughs> oh, my God, we almost had a splatle. My man. It was this close. Man, we got some great wrestlers. We got some great jiu-jitsu out here. This... I don't even know if that's a lack of respect move or just a boss wrestler. It's right a lack there. of respect. I can tell you as a former wrestler, I only threw the crotch split cradle on people I didn't like. Whoa. It's very disrespectful. <laughs> I don't know why he did it. Yeah, that, that. But, but that's a oh. painful thing that takes a lot of skill to do. And we almost, uh, we almost had it locked in, but we don't. We have a second round for you this know, Phantom Weight Championship. I think Rutherford may be suffering from overconfidence. Well, both men had a grueling three minutes there. That was a great fight, and it was it could. I think Rutherford won the fight, but I don't think he won. I mean, won the round. I don't think he won it in a decisive enough fashion to not respect uh, Elijah. Um, so I'm, I'm interested to see how this comes out. Um, he, he says he started. You only throw the plate when you. Well, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a jujitsu practitioner, so. I don't know when they throw the splate on, if it, you know, if it's friendly or if it's like, you know, going the extra mile to be a little extra. But in wrestling, 
you, you know, you start to split a dude's crotch and you, you're doing it kind of on purpose when, you know, I mean, in wrestling, you're supposed to pin a guy. You're not supposed to, <laughs> you're not supposed to hurt him. But, you know, like I said, just coming from a strong wrestling background, yeah. maybe that's his only form of submission. And you know. you know what? It, it works. If you can get it on, it's very painful, and it's really hard to get out of once you're in it. And here we go. Round at number two. This for the interim bantamweight MFC title here at MFC 8. And when you have championship fights, you do start seeing the technical skill uh, where someone attempts a spladal. And oh. This, oh, that was a mean knee. That knee, oh, yeah. He's talking to him. He's rocked him. Landing. And he want, yeah, you better get that takedown because, oh, my God, that knee landed. Oh, he lands big oh. three in a row. Elijah is swinging for the fences. I'm seeing a little oh! nice head he kick. kicks him in the face. And he just looks at him and keeps, what? What? These guys are superhuman. Morales with a long a shot. shot. <laughs> Great sprawl. What a long shot he Textbook took, Textbook wrestling there to just not allow that. I mean, he pretty much telegraphed that shot. But now he's, got, he's going for a single. This is, this is a great fight. Like I said, high intensity, great energy. The young, these guys are not getting tired. Like I said, they have just as much energy that they had in that first round that uh, in the second round, if not even, if not more. We're getting more at, what a, oh, that stunned him. That stunned Rutherford. That stunned Rutherford, and he's going for the take, yeah. He's going for the takedown as they're in front of us. He tries to take his back. Looks like we're reverting purely to wrestling as he goes for. As they're up against us on the cage here, Rutherford transitions. Interested to see if if Elijah can can posture up and deliver some damage. Like I said, he has top position once again. This is a very great position for Rutherford because he was stunned on the feet. So if he can work to get out of this, like I said, he can really take advantage of the the opportunity in front of him. And he's got to stop an, getting hit. We may have another submission attempt here. Mm. Uh oh, that's uh oh. He got his back. Doesn't have the hooks in, but he has the back. He can take him off if he was smart. Yeah, he's very high. He's a little bit too high there. And but, but he's working the legs. Now he's got it in. Now he's hooked him. Uh oh. Forty that's, seconds left in this. Can round. he survive? That head snap back. But you know, if, as you can see, guys, he's not allowing his legs to. Uh oh. He's he's using his legs to fight the positioning, guys. That's why he's surviving this, this uh -oh. position right now. This is dangerous. Oh. This is dangerous. Belly down, it's sunk That's in. It. It's in there. Oh, it's tight. It's in he's there. He's got it sunk in tight. It's in there. Tap. Oh. And it's over. 17. Oh, and it's, and it's over. over. Oh, with just moments left in the second round. With 15 seconds to go. And we have a new interim bantamweight MFC champion. Absolutely. Elijah Morales with the big, big championship win. Someone put some gold around his waist. Man, that was exciting, man. I, I, I that was good. Like I said, he, he, he stunned him on the feet. Rutherford was, was getting his, getting his senses back about him. But man, he, he fought a little too slowly to get to, to stop that, uh, that, <laughs> that rear naked. Like I said, man, that was amazing. Great fight. He set it up, man. That's what you gotta gotta watch for in these young guys. Is he had an opportunity, he had a game plan, and he set up his finish. So, what an amazing fight. And he soaks it in. The crowd is going wild, man. What a great fight for the championship of Mo Muscle Fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, at 42 seconds of round number two, your winner by a submission to a rear naked choke. And now, the interim MFC 135 pound champion, Elijah Morales. Elijah, I don't, I don't want to break up the celebration, but you are now the interim bantamweight MFC champion. 
which I believe if my calculation is correct, you will most likely be facing Kick Aspie for the undisputed championship of MFC down the road. Does that sound like a good plan for you? I don't care whoever it is, I'm ready to go. Eliza Morales had that choke sunk in deep, just 17 seconds, seconds left in the, in, in, in the second round. When you felt the tap and you knew it was over, did, 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 did you know you were a champion at that point? It was all over, all the hard work. Absolutely. After his first, I knew I had him. And even before he tapped, I saw him. I saw him coming. I knew it was in. This is another day in the office. Phenomenal job, and now, and now your interim Bantamweight, Bantamweight champion of MMC, MMC Elijah Morales. Morales. What an amazing opportunity. And, and it looks like we're actually going to get a face-off here. here. We, we have, have the champion here, Mr. Aspie. Aspie. And, they, and will they will face off at some point for the undisputed championship. You won this title back in 2019, and here you are today, ready to make a comeback to make it undisputed. What do you have to say to our victor tonight? The good job comes from a good camp. This is going to be a hell of a victory when I beat him. Nobody knows what I've been working on all this time. It's going to be fun to come back. And we look forward to that. Elijah Morales and Dick Aspie for the undisputed Bantamweight Championship. What a moment between champions here down here at MFCA. I cannot wait to see Elijah Morales versus Brian Aspie.